Mark Gregory here. I live in Hawkesbury, Ontario, Canada. You're watching Trucker Josh on YouTube. The two best things to see first thing in the morning when you're on the road. Good morning you sitting there, or you standing there. It's time to sit down, the vlog's beginning. Today is gonna be a wonderful day. Diesel, you ready to go home? Ready to go home and see mom and Chevy? And Frank and other Frank? Yeah, which one's the other Frank again? I, I, I think I think Wiener's the original Frank, but big Frank is much, much older. So he probably thinks he's the original. I don't think if I, we have two Franks. So one's Big Frank and one's Wiener. He's a Dachshund. Get it? Because he's a Wiener dog. And he's also a Wiener. He's a Wiener Wiener. All weirdness aside, we are making it home today. Uh, I got that load of concrete on my trailer behind me. Notice I remembered to call it concrete and not cement. That was on the first take. Got that load on, we're gonna take it to our yard. That should be there this afternoon. I got a little bit of a later start than I wanted to. But we're still on track to be there for around the end of business day, maybe before they even go home from the office. And then I'll probably be scheduled to go back out again on first thing Monday morning, I'm thinking. Britt has the weekend off. And like I said before, we don't have very many opportunities where we both have the same days off at the same time. So I'm gonna take advantage of this. We're gonna get some stuff done this weekend, hopefully get something lined up so that on Monday morning I can hook up and go. But before that, let's worry about today. Let tomorrow worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow's got enough problems. Let's worry about today, all right? Because today is the tomorrow you were worried about yesterday. I heard this great quote somewhere. Where did I hear that again? You made it through another day, and today was the day that you were worried about yesterday. And it turned out you made it through it. It was all right. You're just fine. So tomorrow will be today but we'll worry about that when it becomes today. Because today's today, tomorrow's not today, tomorrow's tomorrow, and yesterday was today, but it was a tomorrow before that, then it was a today, now it's a yesterday. Now today is today and tomorrow is tomorrow. You really gotta stop doing these inspirational attempts, man. They just don't work, you're not very good at it. Video from yesterday is rendering away here right now. I had some issues with it this morning. This is the third attempt at rendering this thing. Uh, I keep forgetting that uh, for some reason, I guess my uh, my uh, inverter, where I plug my computer into, isn't very strong. I need to get a bigger one probably eventually. And uh, every time I start the truck, if I turn it off and start the truck, it, it shuts off my computer. And it interrupts the rendering. It's done that twice to me today already. So third attempt at getting tomorrow's video up to you. Yesterday's video up to you. Now I'm all confused after that long, confusing speech. Do you feel inspired? Did it at least do something? I just wasted my time, didn't I? We need to check these chains. Make sure they're still tight. I should really have gloves on for this. Sometimes I like to live life on the edge. Make sure all these binders are still locked in. Tight, tight, tight. Make sure my signs are still here. That's good. Everything is locked in, locked in. Good, it's all looking good. Just a quick check, just to double check. Looks a little funny with this hook hanging down here, right? But it is tightened up to there and locked in. 
Legs are all up there. Very nice. I wonder if I can get a, a quick thumbnail shot here. It's a beautiful sunshine day. We have a problem though. Coffee's empty. I don't want to stop too much today. We're on the final stretch on the way home. We have 474 kilometers to the yard. All right, Diesel, you ready to go home too? You ready to go home? What's this doing here? What's this doing here? I guess there's nowhere else to put that. I gotta bring that home. We're on attempt number four now of rendering this video. Now it's been failing, so I start rebooted the computer on my own uh, without it just shutting off. I know that can damage the computer, that's why I try not to let that happen. I try to shut it down before I shut the truck down. But we're gonna try to render it again. The last rendering failed. That's the video you watched yesterday. Uh, 25, vlog number 2563. It's taken me a good chunk of the day all morning already to get that vlog rendered for you. I don't know what's going on, but the things I do for you. <laughs> I wanted to be uploading it now already. Oh, I'm still rendering it. It's okay. It's okay. Wait a minute. Another two minutes. Another two minutes and I'm here for my half hour. May as well just wait. Because after I'm here for a half hour, I get another eight hours on my log. Even though I don't need them. I'm only... Uh, I'm just going to wait. I'm just going to wait. Two minutes. It's just two minutes. All right, let's follow Mr. Volvo out of here. The reason I give my engine a little bit of a ruck ruck before I start moving usually is one, because it sounds awesome. But two, it's a safety reason behind it. It's to draw attention to the vehicle and the fact that I'm about to start moving. So if there's anybody like standing near the truck or in front of the truck or around the truck, I give it a little bit of a rap that'll turn their head to look at the truck so that they know to pay attention and this truck's about to start moving. That's one of the reasons I do that. It's sort of like a backup beeper except cooler. into the habit of that since I was in that uh, day cab Peterbilt. I mean, because not only do we like to hear the sound of the pipes, they do serve a purpose. Loud pipes save lives. So whenever you see me uh, about to roll away, you'll probably hear me give it a little brap. That's just to get your attention so you know. Big truck's about to start moving, get out of the way. Let's go home. I wanted to be home like in two hours. We're still five hours away. It's okay though, it's okay. We're making good time still. So I run at 62 miles an hour, 100 kilometers an hour. That's where I found my sweet spot. If I wanna make even better fuel economy, I can go 55 miles an hour, 90 kilometers an hour, but honestly, for me, that's just a little too slow to get anywhere. You gotta find a healthy balance, <coughs> excuse me, healthy balance, and uh, I found that at 62 miles an hour. <clears throat> if I need to pass somebody, I can pass, but for fuel economy reasons, this is where, this is where I run. I've noticed that if I go any faster, my fuel economy dips really quickly. Really quickly. So having a nice truck isn't about going fast. It's about looking good. <laughs> it's not about going fast. There's no point in going fast. That just gets you speeding tickets. But as far as I know, no one yet has gotten a ticket for looking too good. So I may go a little below the limit sometimes, but at least I'll look good doing it. At least I think so. I mean, I try to. I try to keep the truck clean. 
can't do it every day. It's a lot of work. I'm gonna do my best. I've noticed that when big trucks or uh, like RV campers with trailers pass me, they very often veer into my lane as they're coming to the front of my truck. Here comes a big truck now, see if he'll hold it straight. Just a heads up, if you do pass a truck like mine, we move a lot of air and the airflow could suck you in towards me. Let's see this guy. Okay, he held it pretty straight. For people who aren't aware uh, of how the air moves around my truck, when you get to about my air cleaner here at the front, where this pickup is right there, the air movement around my truck is going to want to pull your vehicle into my lane and into the front fender of my truck. If you're not ready for it and not paying attention or on your phone, I'm probably gonna have to hit the shoulder. I've had to do it several times already for people who have been sucked in and I always have to watch to make sure that they're not gonna bump my, my fender here. It's usually with bigger vehicles, like if you're pulling a camper behind your pickup or like a, an RV or, uh, you know, or a semi truck as well. Just a little bit of a heads up for when you do pass these big nose trucks, the air moves around us a little differently than it does with the aerodynamic trucks. We, we push a lot of air. I wish we could see it so I could show you, but you can definitely see the results. And I've had a couple of close calls already. I always got to pay attention. The wind gusts. Because when you're back beside my door here, it's going to want to push you away from my truck, right? And then there's a certain point where the winds are going to change and it's going to suck you back in towards me. It's hard to describe. So you sort of just have to experience it for yourself. Uh, but just when you are passing a big truck, especially if it's a big long nose W9 or a big Peterbilt 389, like with the big hoods, uh, we're pushing a lot of air, so just be aware. Get ready for your steering to get pulled either direction. And just, you know, use caution. And uh, put your phone down when you're passing me, at least, okay? I'm more of a libertarian guy. I'm not gonna tell you how to live your life, but at least when you're passing me, please put your phone down. I'd appreciate it. In this space, we can be our true selves, our true manly selves, masculinity, and all that stuff. Yeah. We smash cans in our heads. No, we don't, Diesel. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Anyways, I don't know how to end this video. So I'm here in the shop. I got some work to do on the truck that you'll see uh, in the upcoming videos. Uh, this is future Josh, so uh, 
<laughs> had some events, nothing big. I'm just uh, doing some improvements to the truck. Uh, you want to see? I'll uh, I'll give you a sneak peek. Okay, I'm gonna try not to spoil tomorrow's video and the next video. We'll I'll give you a little spoiler alert here. Uh, I don't think it's a spoiler. Got this place though messed up a little bit here. First of all, we got these horns that were sent in from our friend. Thank you very much. I still don't know if you want me to name you or not. Uh, some people don't like the recognition. They're humble people, but uh, no need to be humble. Thank you very much for uh, sending that to me. It's a housewarming gift for Old Blue. I uh, really appreciate that. That's going to be for the kids whenever you give me the arm pump. I'm going to blow their minds. <laughs> yeah. And these. We've got new uh, mud flap hangers for the truck. And I'm just installing them here right now. So if you want to find out why, because this wasn't planned, <laughs> tune in tomorrow. I'll see you then.